Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. Good morning, how are we doing? Good. So we're, it's Transfiguration Sunday, which is, means we're talking a little bit about light. So I'm going to need a volunteer to turn this on at an appropriate time. You want to, there you go. Oh, we got more coming. Okay, so turn it on for me. That works right, and now turn it off. Very good. That's your job. We'll do that later. Very good. So we're learning about a special time when Jesus took some disciples away from him up to a mountain. And it was three of the disciples. Those are their names. It was Peter, James. Oh, sorry, yes. Oh, well, they did see Elijah eventually. It was Peter, James, and John. John, yeah. So they went up a high mountain, and then something happened to Jesus. Point it up at Jesus. There you go. Very good. What happened to Jesus? Yep. A cloud came. A cloud eventually came, but right now a cloud is not in the way. It's kind of the opposite of a cloud. A light was shining on him, perhaps. He was all shiny and bright, and he was transfigured. That was pretty amazing. And then who else showed up? Hmm? God? Well, yeah, eventually. Who else was there? You said one of the names. Yes. Moses, Moses was there. And? Elijah. Elijah. We're going to pretend this is Elijah. This is the closest one I can find. We're going to pretend this one's Moses, right? And then they had this conversation. And who were Moses and Elijah? Do you guys know? And he's all shiny. Thank you for being on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, they were dead. Yes, so they should not have been around there. Might have thought they were ghosts. They were up in heaven. Instead of being in heaven, they were with Jesus. But what else do we know about Moses and about Elijah? They were prophets. They were prophets, yeah. Especially Elijah was a prophet. He did some miracles, actually. And then Moses, we read about him in the Old Testament lesson. You know what happened with his face? It lit up as well, yeah. And then he led a whole bunch of people from Egypt. Uh, They were the Israelites, right? And he took them all to the promised land, but he didn't go in himself. But he was a pretty big deal. He's kind of a huge guy in the Old Testament. They're all having a conversation. And then Peter, he says something kind of silly. Do you know what Peter says? Actually, it doesn't seem silly to us. It seems like a good idea, actually. Yeah. Who are these people? Really, he should have said that. He may, he may have, yeah. Yes. Make three cents. Let's all hang out up here. And then, but here's the thing. You know when he said that? He said it because he was frightened and he was scared. Do you have a guess as to why he was scared and frightened? Ooh, your, your shoes are transferring. They're lighting up right now, too. That's very cool. Anyway, distractions. Yeah, so he was frightened because they were dead. They were dead. That, that's probably part of it. Yeah, they're supposed to be up in heaven. Yeah. They were glowing. Because they were glowing. Yeah, all of those might have, been, might have been the power of God. It was kind of amazing. And so then along comes, well, have you guys ever been, did they have any reason to be scared? Who was with them? That's right. They shouldn't have been afraid at all. But then down came, I don't have anything to represent this, so we'll pretend it's the bag. Down came what? They covered him up. A cloud. That's right. Thank you for raising your hand. I'm sure you got the right answer as well. It's okay. So the cloud came, and then these guys go away, and then what voice do they hear? Yeah. God's voice. And what does God's voice say? Do we know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my son, whom I, so that's why we had Valentine's Day is coming, so we have a, yeah, whom I love, that's there, uh, and then you're supposed to do what? Listen to him, right? That's what it says, and then, so they listen for him, and then, yeah, the light actually goes away at this point, thank you. They're transfigured, and then Jesus says, don't tell anybody until the Son of Man does what? He raises from the? Dead, yeah. So what is the point of the story? We, it's an interesting one. We, we talk about this one every year here at church. What, what do you think God wants us to learn from it? What are the disciples? Yeah. Um, listen to, um, God. Yeah, most important thing is that we should listen to Jesus, right? Not only that, who is Jesus? We should listen to him because he is God's son, son right? So, and not only that, he's not a normal guy. Right? All of a sudden, there's shininess. There wasn't a flashlight up there. All of a sudden, he's shining. He's, something's going on with his clothes. It's all kind of amazing. And he's talking with people who are what? Dead. 
dead, who are in heaven. So he has power over heaven and earth. He must be super important. And then he also tells the disciples that he's going to rise from the dead. That is really good news. And so because of all that, we should do what? Listen, right? Yeah. So we should listen for Jesus because of what amazing things he has done in the past and he's done for us today. And so there's a lot to, to take away from that. And amazingly, one of the things that he does is he shines, right? And so do you guys ever have um, a time when maybe you were scared and it was over nothing in the dark and you turn on the lights and everything was okay? Yeah. Like sometimes you think there's a monster and then it's a coat just sitting on your chair. You're like, where did that even come from? So some of you, do you have a nightlight at home to help you see at dark and help you to sleep? Yeah. Well, in a sense, Jesus is sort of like that, except instead of just being a nightlight for a room, he's the light of the world. That's right. And this is what it says in John chapter 1. It talks about Jesus shining. It says, in him there was life. The life was the light of the people of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And so Jesus is even better than a nightlight. He's there to take away our fear and to be with us through all things, even all bad things. Through our sins, he's there to forgive us. And even through death, Jesus is there for us. So no matter what, we can look to him and have no fear. And we should listen to him, right? So why don't we fold our hands, bow our heads, and repeat after me. Dear God, God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Spirit. thank you for your light. Shine in us and through us. Help us not to be afraid and to listen to you. A lot of people said, oh man, thanks for coming forward, guys. You can turn to your seats. Bye, bye, bye.